Hi, good evening. Tonight we'll have another problem, which will be using double elimination. So when you say double elimination, every team is given two chances. If ever the two chances will be lost, or let's say they cannot do it until the last competition, then that team has no chance to do it in the last round. Meaning to say, that team will be eliminated right away after two loses. So let's start with five teams. Now, in here, every time we have game in the right side, then we have the winner, and so we have the loser. So the loser will be thrown in the left side of the diagram. So we will have the diagram, by the way. And so with that diagram, we'll be using brackets, opening, and hanging. And so this is the concept. Every time we have loser from the winner side, then we have to open the bracket. That is the concept. Open or hang. This is how you do it. But before that, we will compute the number of games, because in here, the number of games is doubled. So we have the formula, the same, n minus 1 times 2. So we have n minus 1 times 2, okay? So we have equals 5 teams minus 1 times 2. We have 4 times 2. As you can see, we have 8 games in here. So it is double compared to single elimination. Because in single, once you lose, you'll be eliminated right away. That's, that's why it is uh, called the knockout system. So the same in power of 2 minus n, the only number that could subtract to the number of our teams is 8. It should be equal to the number of power of 2 or beyond, but not really 16. It's 8. 8 minus 5, we have 3 divides. Okay? And so let's proceed now to the diagram. It is called diagram. Because we'll have the right side and left side bracketing. And with this, we still need to seed the tournament to avoid mismatch. Supposing we have team 1, that's our buy. We have team 2 and 3. We have team 4, buy. Team 5, buy. So in here, although we have this uh, 4 and 5 as our buy, we can avoid that. But you have to make sure that these teams are not all best teams, or else the other best will be eliminated, or we'll have that one lose right away. Okay? So this is our 1. Every time... You perform bracketing or closing the bracket, you have to perform that as well in the left side. So you won't confuse later. As you can see, we, have, we didn't have loser yet. But still, we need to perform whatever we performed in the winner side. So this is 4. Close the bracket. This is your 5. And close the bracket. Still, extend the line, extend the line. Okay? So this one is your 2 and 3. This is our game 1. Supposing you have team 3. Basically, you have loser, which is your team 2. So what we'll be doing here is we'll close the bracket as well. Okay? And so we'll extend the line and then bring down 2. You need to say loser 2 is in the loser bracket. Now, after extending the lines in the loser side, we have to close it. Let's see. As you can see, only team 2 is placed in the extended line on the loser side. So we'll let team 2 to move here in the next bracket. And how about here? We didn't have players. So still, we need to extend the bracket here. So let's proceed here. Game. Two. Although we can have game two here below, it's up to you. So this is your team three. So what happened to team one? So team one loses its game in game two. So we'll open the bracket here or there. It's up to you again. So let's say we will write or we'll place team one here. Okay. So again, the concept is close, hang, or open. So we have team one. And so we'll write broken arrow or arrow to indicate loser from the winner side. Okay. From there. That's it. And so how about here? Game. Okay. Three, say team five. So team four is our loser in game three. So still, we need to open the bracket. So every time you open the bracket or hang the bracket, we have loser here, except on the first round, okay? So we have team four. Again, we will write broken arrow or place broken arrow to indicate loser from the winner. So we have already team two and one in the loser's bracket. So this is a match. This is our game four. Supposing we have team one. And so team two is now eliminated because in game one, team two lose and then in game four, another lose. Okay, so we have this elimination round. So how about this one? Okay, move to the next bracket. Four. Okay. Now we will let team one to take a rest. Let's proceed here. So this is our game five. Let's say team five. So we cannot declare team five as our champion yet. Instead, we will proceed to game six. So our team five is our waiting team for the it could be a championship rematch or subject for not a rematch, championship game, possibly, or a rematch later. So let's say in game 6, we have this team 1. And now, of course, after which, we still have this loser. So after closing the bracket, we have to open it. Or hang it. As you can see, we have team 3. And again, we have to write broken arrow to indicate loser from the winner. Then, we have this game 7. As you can see, let's say we have team 1. No other players to compete in the loser side, nor in winner side. 
So after opening it, then we have to close it. So this is what we call diagram. And so lastly, we have this game, eight, to be played between team one versus team five. So with this presentation, you couldn't say that team five is the champion. It could be team one will be our winner in game eight. So that's why we need to write a note here that team five is twice three. Okay? If ever team five won in game eight, then team five is our champion. But if ever team one won in game eight, then there will be a rematch or championship game. So I'll be showing you another way. The same five teams. Okay, so this is how I usually do it. So we have team one, by two, three, four, by and five, by. Instead of uh, putting a bracket there, I usually put a box here below. This is also to minimize space. Okay. I used to have like this. And so this is our game. One, three. Close the bracket, extend the line. Two, two, two. Then I'm gonna open the bracket, team one. This is our game. Three, team four. I'm gonna hang the bracket for our team five. Okay, and now three versus one. This is our game. Four. So team one is now eliminated. How about this? Team five. Let's proceed here. Game five. We have two. So this is our game. Six. Team one. And we still have loser. Remember that the last bracket to be placed in your diagram is your open or hanging bracket. So we still have team four as our loser from the winner's bracket. This is our game seven. We have team four again, let's say. And finally, let's uh, close the bracket to be played between team four and team one. This is our game eight. So we have this team four versus team two. No, team two is twice to be. So see? As simple as that. I hope you learned something tonight. God bless.